The plastic had taken over, the tetra packs had come. Mm -hmm. Those weren't there when I was here. And so, mm -hmm. so much of the stuff the crows were eating and the cows and the goats and it was degrading. But once they hit with tetra packs and all those plastic bottles, mm -hmm. it, I just, I noticed the difference of mm -hmm. eating. Me too. Really good. I think, uh, I mean, it got really bad by about 2007. Wow. 2007, I said, yeah, okay, okay, now India is going down the tubes here. Right. And immediately it occurred to me, this is the perfect solution for mm -hmm. housing. Mm -hmm. We have the, the garbage crisis and we have the... Housing crisis. And one can solve the other. Good. All of these tons of, of uh, plastic waste and all kinds of waste can make into houses. Mm -hmm. We started right away, is there waste or is there? Mm -hmm. We haven't solved the issue yet, <laughs> but uh, I. But then uh, people said, "Oh, you can't do that. You know, mm. waste is toxic. You can't build a house out of waste. Mm. And all this bullshit." So I, I, I said, "Okay," and then I had to do it. So then I don't leave it. Don't leave it. Yeah, yeah, you just do it yourself, and then people can. Oh, oh, we did it. We did it. It mm. worked. Oh, it didn't fall down. Yeah. And I had some advantages at mm. that time. We had a cyclone. So this tree right behind you mm. fell down on the front gate okay. with all these branches. It's an African mm. mahogany. And so I had all the trees. All the wood fell down. That's all acacia was growing around. We, we yes. lost, I, 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 people's estimates vary from 40 to 60 percent of the trees in Oregon were lost in that cyclone. Right. And they went down. Right. They weren't lost, they just went down. So we had all this wood. Mm. And, um, <clears throat> and then at that time, I was realizing uh, that what are they doing, at, you know, in the eco service with the waste? And then there was a guy there uh, running it, and he was doing Oro Anand out there, a cashew farm, and he had that, some extra barren land. Mm -hmm. He just dug a big hole with a JCP and was dumping landfill. Mm -hmm. And I said, you can't do this. And I went out there to the landfill, and I went out there and I looked at the different things going in. Oh my God, they, they were throwing in, I don't know where they got it. There was a couple of big crates of brand new clothes. Brand new! Yeah, <laughs> brand new! You know the labels on them and everything? Where did that come from? I don't know. All kinds of stuff. But still a lot goes to the landfill from eco services. I know. Incredible. Yeah. Three tons I know. per month. Yeah, that's every, every week, one truckload. So I'm there every week. <laughs> and I'm sorting it. So now we just got last two weeks ago, three weeks ago now, we got a pit dug to put in the cloth and the paper, paper that is not sorted out by the ladies who are sorting the waste. Right. So they have uh, all these categories right. and the ladies right. have these boxes. I don't know if you've been right. there. So they're, they're sorting out. Right. So the leftovers kind of go into the right. landfill and the stuff that they can't sell for recycling. Scrap. Yeah. Scrappy things that people won't take. And we're baling, uh, we're baling paper, we're baling plastic, we're baling low density plastic, we're baling plastic bottles. To make we have a because, press there, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so those are sold. Right. So that's okay. Right. Uh, but but, that's uh, a lot of but all the rest, you know, the old umbrella, the broken mop, so many things. And the mosquito killing rackets. Yeah. All that, yeah. Plenty now, yeah. Plenty of so much yeah, stuff. Yeah, you yeah. just can't believe it. Yeah. And, um, and we have a lot of bottles. People are over drinking everywhere in the village, in Oroville, everywhere. A lot of bottles. Yeah. But they can sell the bottles. So they're, they're selling the bottles mostly. These bottles I picked up around here, these big fields. Yeah. So they're I collected everywhere. bottles for two years. Two years collected things, stacked it in the back there, built the house in one year. Wow. Yeah, yeah and, and then the window frames, the doors came from down on the road, the old uh, things that they're sold down on the road. There's a whole line of stuff going into Pondicherry, I don't know if you ever noticed, on the eco, on the ECR. ECR. Huh. All those old places, they're selling wood and frames and stuff, and it's relatively cheap. And, and good wood. Oh my God! Yeah. It's the bed. oldest wood. Yeah. The oldest wood. The bed upstairs. Where do you see the bed we have? We got the best bed in the world. It's about, <laughs> I don't know if it's 600 years old or what, but it's <laughs> dermatique, You know, I mean, you it's don't precious. Get, you, don't you can get, never get it again. No, never get nothing. It again. No, and just think of the thousands of people that slept in it. You know, but people don't like those things because of the vastu. 
you know about box two? Yeah. Yeah. Box two. yeah, they say, oh, these old things, you know, they have old mm, vibrations old and, and old things. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. said, one incense stick, I can purify a whole house. <laughs> With your own energy. Sure. Yeah. Or yeah. the incense. Just, yeah. Or you you call it a little Om, That's or, it. a little Om Navaya yeah. Shiva, or anything, anything, mm -hmm. use anything. That's Your mother will help, everybody sure. will help. That's why. You, you can, matter is sacred. See, matter right. is sacred. People haven't got it yet. Matter is sacred, the stones, the sand, every so single atom. Is what is it made out of? Energy. What is it? Yeah. And what is the energy? All of us. Huh? All of us. All of us. Yeah. yeah. Love. The universe created out of love. So Nothing we, is a reject. You can't go wrong. They would call it Mother Nature. They call it Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. Let's stick with the mother. And let's take care of the mother's body. It's all the mother's body, us, everything. Mm -hmm. And we can do it. We can do it. We have enough for everybody. Eight billion people, we can take care of very easily. All the statistics show you take care of the population. The guys that want to get rid of the population, like Bill Gates and those eugenic people, is they want to make more money. Because the poor is not giving them enough money. Of course. So they, they want high-end high consumers. It's just crazy. Anyway, we figured it all out. People have some time now with the mm -hmm. pandemic to reflect. The yes. economy is going to collapse. A uh, few more things are going to happen. Yes. People are going to get it. Yes. They have to. Yes. There's no option. Yes. So, yeah. 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 So it's good. Mm -hmm. So we take the landfill. I mean, the floor, you're, you're, you're sitting on landfill. This whole floor is landfill. You just ram it down, put a little cement on it. There you go. Saves you buying steel. It saves you spending one lakh for a floor. You know? mm -hmm. And you take care of the stuff. And some things actually make like concrete. You know how you make concrete? You put in those, uh, they call it a blue metal, mm -hmm. the stones. That stones, that, those stones, you have to pay two to eight rupees a kilo for those stones to go into mm -hmm. it. And fill is free. Mm -hmm. Those stones uh, also are radioactive. The granite's slightly radioactive. If you put styrofoam in, which is all over the place, styrofoam bonds so well with cement, it increases the thermal insulation of the of the concrete. Mm -hmm. It's lighter, easier to use. You don't have to use as much. So you got a benefit there. Mm -hmm. And styrofoam you can get all over the place. Yeah, thrown. Away. It's thrown, and it's blowing out to the ocean. The yes. fish are eating it and killing them. It's poison. Styrofoam is very poisonous to humans also. So if you throw it around on the land, it powders, yes. goes into the water table. You're yes. drinking it. Yes. You want to put it in uh, cement. Yes. And it's a good use. It's used here? Yeah. Styrofoam. Yeah, it's styrofoam. Oh. This floor has got a lot of styrofoam. The building next door. Just see oh. the building next door. See, the building next door is a dormitory. Yeah, I, have, I met somebody there. Yeah, but I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, yeah. you can see the building next door. And, uh, so all these things. See, these are all, all this stuff is known, but of course the building trades uh, are basically mafias. Yes. You know, Especially in the West. I mean, India is a little bit better. You can still do things in the West. You're stuck. I mean, yeah. the, the laws, the building codes, mm -hmm. you can't do anything. I couldn't have a compost toilet in California. It was against the law. Mm. Yes. But here I got money. <laughs> yeah, it's all that stuff. I mean, you guys know this stuff already. Yeah. I've seen in my lifetime, I've seen everything. Mm. Yeah. When did you get here? 1974. Yeah. 74, yeah. India was... Yes. Uh, well, actually, I came to India in 71. Mm -hmm. I just, you uh, know, was in Bombay and that side. And uh, I, I, I left India with the feeling that this country is absolutely hopeless. It's going to just perish. It's going to implode. It's, there's no way that this country can make it. And I'm never, ever coming back here. And I left, and then uh, about a year later, I heard about Oroville, <laughs> and I came and stayed. Mm. Because I saw, you know, you saw all the stuff, and you saw the poverty and the problems. I said, no way. But then uh, it's the mother, you know, when she started Oroville, she said, India's the perfect place. It's yes. got the worst problems, but it's got the best solutions. Yes. So, Oroville, India. Mm. So that's, so, that's why I'm here, I'm still here.
Mm. And I'm happy to be here. Mm. Happy to be here. I mean, yeah. this is this is my life dream. You know, when I was in California, I tried to do things, but okay. look for a community. I, I, met, I went to some communities. I, I knew about Finduan and all those communities, and there was the famous uh, farm, uh, Steve Gaskins, mm -hmm. I knew Gaskins, a big farm in Tennessee. There were a lot of these communities started in the 60s, mm -hmm. and uh, they mostly all failed. Uh, but then, uh, but Oroville had everything, because mm -hmm. see, Oroville had the, it had the, the third world country, so-called, it had uh, diverse population, it had the underlying philosophy, mm -hmm. it had it had it all, you know, it had the idealism, belonged to humanity. Uh, you read the charter of Oroville, you know, I couldn't have written a better charter myself. Correct. So, yeah, it was great. And so, now, how do you see it the same, compared to same. the charter? I mean, uh, well, I mean, people haven't got there yet, but it's mm -hmm. still there and people are still, uh, you know, no one has said that we have to throw out the charter. Mm. I mean, a few people have made disparaging remarks, but still, it's still there. And the uh, core beliefs in the community, values, are still strong, mm. even though people individually fail mm. to maintain them. And, but it's still, uh, still viable. Yeah, it's still viable. Mm. And we're still learning so much, you know, because we don't have... Um, See, there's not a new structure, the, the mental structure that we have is, is still patriarchal. You know, we had a mother yes. father and, yes. and uh, we brought all our patterns from how we were brought up. So we're all conditioned, so conditioned right. culturally and psychologically. To, uh, to break all that is a big job. And people, especially under some stress, will revert right back, you know, especially to get survival. Mm. When you come down to money and food and those things, mm. people don't want to budge. They're happy to have a new age, wonderful place, but and, you know, and all. But don't don't interfere with you know what I need for my power. Yeah. yeah. Power and control. Yeah. Two things. Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, I grew up. You know, you just drink the water. Yeah. yeah. And it was fine wherever you were. You drink the water, and you could go out and drink from streams. Mm. As a boy, I, you know, when I grew up in California, we would go out, we'd go fishing, we'd drink from the stream. Yeah, we all do. Yeah. 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 We, on our trip, we, we just drank the water that yeah. was there. We, yeah. Not a single bottle was bought. Yeah. Of course, to pay yeah. for water is like sacrilege. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And then you, of course, have all those bottles all over the place. Right. I got one lampshade up made out of the bottle, so <laughs> cut it around. This is some old recycled tea I found in the eco-service, somebody threw it out, so I decided to revisit it. <laughs>